for a man to grant a market to another is to bind a soul to a blood oath. What is the blood oath marker in the John Wick universe? If you are familiar with the violence riddled brutal world of John Wick, you probably know about the strict code of conduct and rules that bind everyone working under the high table. Whoever it is, I'll kill them. This ancient organization regulates and monitors everything from the criminal underworld to the deadly assassins. And the Blood Oath Marker is one of the many rigid systems that everyone must abide by. So, in this video, let us take a closer look at what exactly is this Blood Oath Marker for better understanding. This is your blood. The Marker Medallion, the most extreme form of a promise. The Marker is a round medallion that signifies the debt of blood oath between two individuals. It opens in the middle and there is a two-part divided surface inside. The one who owes the debt presses a bloody fingerprint after getting it pricked. Once the debt is paid, the other person does the same to acknowledge the fulfillment of the commitment. This is considered to be an extreme form of commitment and one usually issues a blood oath for some high-level favors that require a great deal of sacrifice for the other person. It is more of a last resort tactic where there is no other way out because ideally one wouldn't like to be in debt of a marker. What this means is that the marker can later be used to make the person who took the blood oath do just about anything he deems necessary and there is no way to refuse the claim. Refusals can result in a bad reputation, assassination and being condemned by the high table which basically means death. However, on the upside, the completion of multiple blood oaths by an assassin also indicates how lethal and committed he is. The tradition is taken very seriously by the high table and all those who function under its governance and the manager of the Continental Hotel, Winston, keeps the records of all blood oaths in his leather-bound record book. John Wick finds out the hard way just how rigid and problematic these markers can be. For a man to grant a market to another, is to bind a soul to a blood oath. What is the importance of blood oath in John Wick's story arc? The first movie in the franchise starts off with the retired John Wick and we soon get to know how the dreaded hitman managed to get out of an organization like the high table where the exit option is near impossible. After Joseph makes the mistake of killing John Wick's puppy and stealing his beloved Mustang, we hear his father, Vigo Tarasov, a Russian mafia boss, lament his son's actions. Vigo then reveals the legends and myths that surround the Baba Yaga of assassin John Wick. Nobody is John Wick. He mentions that when John Wick sought retirement after falling in love with a woman, Vigo assigned him an impossible task for his freedom, as is the norm. However, John Wick accomplished the impossible by killing some very important people under the most extreme conditions. He was then free to leave and lead a normal life before circumstances forced him back. I once saw him kill three men in a bar. With a in John Wick Chapter 2, more is revealed about how a blood oath actually helped John Wick get through the fateful night and earn his freedom. Santino D'Antonio, the Camorra crime boss, comes to his house to remind him of a blood oath that John Wick had taken. As it turns out, the skilled assassin needed some help while trying to achieve the impossible, and Santino's invaluable help came for a price. Now, the blood oath medallion makes it binding on John Wick to do whatever Santino commands, and when John refuses, he faces the consequences. His house is blown to bits and he soon realizes that there is no escaping his promises. John is tasked with the assassination of Santino's sister, Guiana, and when the hitman reaches her and tells her about the marker, she resigns to her fate. Her acceptance and understanding of John Wick's compulsion show how seriously the people functioning under the high table take this blood oath. Later, in John Wick Chapter 3, John reaches out to an old acquaintance named Sophia who helped him reach out to a crime lord for information on how to contact the elder, the one who presides over the high table. She is hesitant to help him, but he pulls out the blood oath medallion, which she had previously committed to John. He had helped her in hiding away her daughter safely, and as gratitude, she swore to pay back the favor. 
Sophia is agitated and annoyed by John's move to make use of the marker. But even though she has risen up the ranks of the underworld, she still has to oblige. The way John's friends, such as Winston, the manager of the Hotel Continental, and other notable characters acknowledge the Blood Oath marker throughout the narrative makes it pretty clear that this promise is not to be trifled with. In a way, the Blood Oath is what gets John Wick back in business, and it puts him at odds with the high table after he assassinates Santino as revenge. Even the events that unfold in the new release, John Wick Chapter 4, are a consequence of all that happens following his Blood Oath commitment. Hence, the Blood Oath marker occupies a lot of significance in the entire story arc. Do let us know in the comments below what you think about the Blood Oath and how would you like it if such a form of promise existed in the real world as well.